Welcome to Hunt Gather with the Chatters. Today we're going to be making snow ice cream and we're going to show you guys how to do that. Um, some of you may not know how to make it because it's kind of a thing that you only know how to make if you, you know, get snow pretty often. And it's actually really delicious and you'll think that, you know, why didn't I know this before? Originally I thought anybody that lived in snow country knew how to make snow ice cream, but Aaron grew up in snow country and didn't make it until he married me. So lucky for him, um, he knows how to make it now and we're gonna make it for you right now. You ready to go get something sweet? Uh, yeah. All right, let's go. So first we're gonna harvest the snow and you wanna find an area that's not close to a tree. It's kinda out in the open and obviously not near a road. Um, Just a word of caution when you're getting your snow, you wanna make sure it's from a clean source. And specifically, you want to make sure you don't get the yellow snow. And so we are we just have a bowl here. And yeah, you kind of want to take away the top layer. Make sure your gloves are clean. Yeah, if it's day two, there. sometimes it's melty. And so I like to remove the top layer. But we're going to fill this whole bucket. This is really light and fluffy snow. And so we're going to need more than we would if it was a heavy or wet snow. Step one, gather the snow. So we're going to show you how to make snow ice cream. It's pretty simple and it's easy to remember. Basically the main ingredients that you're going to need are milk, uh, vanilla, and sugar. You can also use um, some sweetener, but you don't have to. Yeah, if you want to get fancy with it. It's kind of a way to cheat, but yeah. So first you're going to, you want to make your like base, I guess you could call it. Yeah. So you add your snow last, so you're just going to add enough milk. I like to add about that much milk. I'd say it's like two thirds of a cup to a cup of milk. Yeah. Are we going to make daddies for him? Yeah. Okay. I like, a I like vanilla a lot, so I'm going to add a lot, but... Yeah, I probably add one to two teaspoons. And then you kind of want to take... How much should we just like two? Like two of those spoonfuls? Yeah. Mix and then taste. But being that this is the only sugar that you're putting in there, but you're going to add a lot of snow, it might be that after you've tasted this, consider that the snow is going to take a little bit away from the sweetness, and so you're going to want to add some more. And then you also want to like mix it enough that the sugar dissolves. Mine's pretty sweet, but I feel like once I yeah. add my snow, it's not going to be as sweet. So I'm going to do one more spoon for me. I didn't do daddy's yet. One, two, three. Can you put a little bit of the creamer in there for me? Yeah. Can you put a little bit of creamer in there? You obviously don't want to eat it all the time, but it's okay if you eat it once in a while, especially, you know, to get in the winter season. Well, and it's still healthier than standard ice cream you'd buy from the store, right? Oh, oh yeah, for sure. For sure. It, and we use skim milk, so... I mean, it, it could get way fancier if you wanted to use whole milk. Okay, so you could use or whole cream. milk or even some cream. Yeah. All right, so then we're going to add the snow. And like I was saying earlier, if it's a real dry, fluffy snow, you're going to need more because it almost melts instantly. Eventually, your milk will get cold enough that it won't melt as quickly. See, it's just slowly being mixed in. One more scoop because I want it to be a little bit more solid. 
Yeah, and depending on the consistency you want, you can keep adding. But I like it about like this. And you can let it melt a little bit, but for the most part, you're gonna wanna eat it fairly quickly because eventually you just get watered down sugar and vanilla. When you wait too long. But yeah, mix in your snow to your liking. Is that too much? No, that's, that's probably, yeah. And I've seen people make like a fruit slush, you know, they'll add snow and uh, like a juice, you know? I don't think you've ever seen that, but you just thought of that right now, right? <laughs> we never have juice at the house, but if we did. Uh, where is Daddy's spoon? I think it's this. All right. You gonna taste yours, Daddy? And see if we got the right mix for you. Let me add a little more for you. That's perfect. Yeah. How was yours, babe? It's good. Yeah. You guys really didn't know mine. Thanks for watching Hunt and Gather with the Chatters. We'll see you next time when we go get something to eat. Yeah, it seemed a little silly at first, but then I thought, you know what? We are Hunt and Gather with the Chatters and we're gonna be gathering snow.